Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the system of equations and the equations given to us here is 2x plus y minus z equals 5, the other one is 2x minus 5y plus lambda z is equal to mu, and the third one, it is x plus 2y minus 5z is equal to 7. We have been given that if this system of equations has infinitely many solutions. So basically, if this system of equations has infinite solutions, we have been told to find the value of the expression which says lambda plus mu the whole square plus lambda minus mu the whole square is equal to what so we need to figure out the value of this entire expression and if i see the answer choices that we have here it is 916 second 912 third 920 and the last 904 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us so let's solve for this and get the answer to the question so if I understand first idea to write my expression in the terms of determinants, so I can write those three linear equations in the form of determinant as x, y, z, that is equal to, let's see. So if I write the coefficients of x, I have 2, 2, 1. So that makes it 2, 2, 1. Next, I have for y1 minus 5, 2. So 1 minus 5, 2. Then for the third one, we have it as minus 1 lambda minus 5. So minus 1 lambda minus 5. This is equal to 5 mu and 7. So 5 mu and 7. So you write that in your matrix form. Now we have been told that you have infinitely many solutions and for infinite solutions we know already that delta which is the discriminant or the determinant of this entire matrix is equal to 0 which is also equal to determinant of 1, determinant of 2 and determinant of 3. What do I mean by determinant of 1 means if I instead of coefficients of x if i put this answers here then the determinant of that is also equal to zero for infinite solutions if determinant two instead of coefficients of y i'll put all of these solutions here five mu and my seven that determinant is also equal to zero and determinant of three means if instead of this i put that five mu and seven i still get that also equal to zero so if I use this idea of infinite solutions, let's first equate determinant of zero. Uh, determinant is equal to zero for this matrix. So if I write that matrix and equate it with zero, I get two, one, minus one, two minus five lambda, and the last was one, two, one, minus five. Now, if I further solve this, I will get the value of the unknown which is present here that is lambda. So let's find the value of lambda. So I get 2 times minus 5 into minus 5 so plus 25 minus 2 into lambda minus 1 minus 5 into 2 which is minus 10 and minus lambda into 1 which is minus lambda plus minus 1 2 into 2 4 and minus 5 into 1 so minus 5 so minus of minus 5 so you get this entire thing is equal to 0 if I solve for this I get 50 minus 4 lambda minus 1 into minus 10 so plus 10 plus lambda minus 1 into so minus 1 plus into minus is minus 1 which is equal to 4 plus 5 which is 9 is equal to 0 so you get 50 plus 10 60 minus 3 lambda minus 9 is equal to 0. From here you get 60 minus 9 51 is equal to 3 lambda. If I solve further for lambda I get lambda's value as 51 by 3. 
So 51 over 3 gives you the value of lambda as 17. So you get the answer for the value of lambda. Now let's try to find the value of mu as well. So for mu, what I can do here is if I take out this coefficients of z and instead of that, if I put this here, means I'm using delta 3 so that I have only one single unknown that will be mu instead of lambda. So if I use that idea, now I am equating delta 3 with 0. So determinant of delta 3 is equal to 0 and determinant of delta 3, if I see, you have 2, 2, 1, 1, minus 5, 2. So 2, 2, 1, 1, minus 5, 2. And the third one, you have it as 5 mu and 7. So you have it as 5 mu 7. So if I solve this also, let's see what I get. So 2, 7 into minus 5, so minus 35, minus 2 mu. Then minus 1. 2 into 7, 14 minus mu, plus 5, 4 minus minus 5. So 4 plus 5, 9 is equal to 0. So further I get that as minus 35 into 2, which is minus 70 minus 4 mu, minus 1 into 14, which is minus 14, plus mu, and plus 45 is equal to 0. So you get that as minus 3 mu, minus 70 minus 14, which is minus 84. So if I take that on the other side, you get 84 minus 45. So 45 and you have plus 40, that makes it 85. So you need one less, so it should be 39. So you get mu's value as 39 over minus 3, which is minus 30. So you get mu minus 13, you get lambda is equal to 17. Now if I try to figure out the value for the expression given to us, let's see that. So I have been given the value of the expression that is lambda plus mu the whole square plus lambda minus mu the whole square. So if I solve for this, let's see what I get. You have lambda's value as 17 and mu's value as minus 13. So 17 plus minus 13 the whole square. This becomes 17 minus minus 13. That makes it 4 square. This becomes 30 square. 16. This becomes 900. And that makes it 916. So if you figure out the answer for the question that matches here for the expression, it is 916. And that matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we just needed to use this idea that for infinite solutions, the determinant is equal to zero of the original matrix and determinant of one, two, and three, that is also equal to zero. So we use that idea of determinant of matrix A is equal to zero that gave us the value of lambda as 17. And then we use the determinant of 3 is equal to 0, where we replace the coefficients of z with the solution values, that is 5 mu and 7. That gave us the answer for the value of mu. Once I get the value of lambda and mu, I just substituted that in the expression for which we have been asked to find the value. And you get the answer to the question as 916, which matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the types of solutions you get. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos. Do subscribe to my channel and also share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.